Welcome back to my backyard. Today, I would like to use my foam roller and stretch out. So if you have a foam roller, you can join in on the first few moments of this. Otherwise, just skip forward to when we start stretching, okay? Awesome, welcome back, by the way. Um, I'm figuring this whole backyard situation out slowly but surely. I'm gonna find this this way. So you'll see the progression of it. <laughs> All right, so I've got a blanket here. I just want to put that underneath my low back for extra support. And then I'm just going to take the foam roller, use the strength of my legs, and roll out my back. And a great thing to do here is support your neck so you can take your hands, interlace them behind the low scalp and just sort of lean back. I have these beautiful trees above me. So maybe you can hear the rustling of the trees, but <laughs> you might also hear the sounds of traffic, which it's also a windy day. All right, so I'm just going back and forth. Then I'm letting my hips settle down here and I'm lifting the chest a bit. And we're gonna take the ribs side to side. So just tick tock your chest side to side. The shoulder blades are not on the foam roller right now. Two. And one. And we'll lift the hips again, start to get into the upper back now. So the shoulders, they want a lot of support. And just below the shoulders, they want to feel it too and take a deep breath in. Go like this, Blah. just like that, or maybe like, Blah. or make up your own. And then um, here's a pretty secret fun way to get a back crack. <laughs> so I let my head rest completely on the floor, my elbows go out wide, and then the elbows come up together and I roll up the upper back and get a little back crack. Oh, yeah. So from here, reach the hands forward. We're going to come over onto one forearm and just get the low back here for two. And switch it out to so the other side. Massage the low back, the shoulders. And that is the portion of foam rolling. Now let's get into your stretch. So just take that off to the side for now. So figuring out my backyard. I've got a neighbor right there watching me. I have a neighbor upstairs laughing at her TV and here you and me are. So we're in tabletop pose. Spread through the fingers, press the tops of the feet into the floor, round through the spine, find an exhale. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, bend through the elbows, arch the back. Think about the upper back lifting forward and through the arms. Stretch the neck. Push the floor away round through the spine. And we go for five. Dancing cat-cow, find the breath. Three. And one. Tuck your toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog, walk your hands forward. Step your feet really wide and far apart, bend into your knees, let your hips splay open. So turn the knees out slightly, the toes out slightly, and then tick tock the hips side to side. Draw the inner heels towards one another, and then turn the toes out and then straighten through the legs if you can. A little bend is totally fine. A deep bend is also totally fine. Look forward, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, come up through halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let the head rest. The back of the neck release. Maybe interlace the hands behind the head to encourage that. 
Inhale, come up halfway, lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold right back down. Roll up through the fold to standing pose, to dasana. Open the palms forward, breathe through the chest, expose the heart, big breath in. Exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step to plank pose. Lower the right knee to the floor, kickstand the toes out. Inhale, the left arm up and long. Float the left leg up. Try to catch the foot if you can. Hug the heel into the booty. Bring the knee into your chest and step the foot into a lunge. Swoop the arms up to the sky. Catch the left wrist, reach it up and over. Catch the right wrist, reach it up and over. Exhale, hands come round to frame off the foot. Send that leg high, three-legged dog, three big circles, two. And one. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Beautiful work. Come back through tabletop pose. Let the left knee come down. Extend the right leg out. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, bend into the knee. Catch the right ankle. Squeeze and hug. Maybe kick into the hand a bit here. Draw the knee in towards your chest. Send that forward into a lunge. Rise up. Catch the right wrist. Send it over to the right, the left rather. And switch, opposite side. Come back through plank pose. Downward facing dog. Right leg high to the sky, opening it up. Ripple forward, plank pose. Let's lower the knees, let's mount the chest all the way down. Inhale, come through a halfway lift, draw the elbows back and together. Exhale, crawl the hands out as wide as your space will allow. Bend the elbows back towards the waist, push the heart up, shoulders back. Windy, windy. <laughs> Look up at the sky, the ceiling, whatever. Exhale, fold it back down. Push yourself into child's pose. Come forward on the forearms, lift the hips, dolphin pose for four, three, two, one. Lift the forearms, step the right foot between the left thumb, or both thumbs rather, <laughs> rise up. High lunge. Exhale, tilt forward, lift the back leg. Exhale, find high lunge. Let's go for five. Find the breath, keep your gaze nice and steady. Four. Yeah, soften, breathe, smile, two. We're giving a little extra here. And one, come through vinyasa. Or skip it to downward facing dog. From here, pedal out the feet. Swoop the left leg up, exhale, knee to nose, step it between. Let's come up for high lunge. Big breath here. Take the hands forward, frame off the front toes, lift the back leg, tilt the head down, give the head a little spin. And send that foot all the way back, reach up. And seesaw. for two. And last one. Step the foot behind. It's fine. Vinyasa. Back to down dog. Right leg high to the sky. Step it through. Windmill open warrior two. Reverse. Straighten the front leg. Exhale. Triangle pose. Reach the top arm long and overhead. Turn into yourself. Vinyasa. Left leg high, step it through, windmill open. Straighten and reverse, triangle pose. Round it down, vinyasa. Lower the knees, tap the hips forwards, send the heart open and back, hands to hips. Breathe it in, open across the chest. This is such a good, deep, energizing posture. 
Exhale, hips back onto the heels. Take them over to the left. Side body stretch up and over to the right. Good, switch. Hips to the right, side stretch to the left. Let's finish up with some gentle movements. Turning the ribs for three, two, one. Switch from a comfortable, easy seat. Two, one, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round through the spine. Spread the legs wide, flex through the toes. Find wide-legged forward fold, wide-legged. Can you hear me? I might just have to hold things. <laughs> this wasn't the shirt to wear. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Let your breath be soft. And let the exhale be smooth. Lengthen the breath, deepen the breath. Relax the head, the jaw. Let's roll back up. Lean back, hands below both knees. Encourage the legs together. And we're going to find double pigeons. So the knees stack and the hips are both earthing. So that means both sits bones are grounded to the floor. Do your best to get the knees above each other, but I'm sure you feel it as is. It's no big deal. Lift the heart and just softly find a bit of a hinge. Belly onto the thighs. Maybe you can start to walk your hands forward. Come back up. Find a bit of a twist. So I've got my right leg on top. I'm crossing left arm over. So whichever leg's on top, use the opposite arm. And we come back to center. Switch the legs. Ease and effort. Ease and effort. There is effort but there is also ease and there cannot exist one without the other or else we go way out of balance way out of balance let's roll up find a bit of a twist beautiful work and we'll have a um, seated or lying down meditation two minutes Become comfortable as best as you can. Feel the weight of your body. Feel the weight of your shoulders, your hips. And feel your breath start to slow. Your breath start to become effortless. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and find a comfortable seat if you haven't already. Take your time. And I'll leave you with the words of young Pueblo. I started speaking my truth when being free 
became more important than guarding the fear of my ego. I hope you have a great day. Bye.